Okay, so I'm gonna do another video for tonight. I have some energy, so I'm gonna keep going and make video number two for today. And so uh, I just wanted to show that uh, some research that I have done, trying to locate an IP address and analyzing email headers and to find the correct IP address that is appropriate that is being sent by these illegal emails being sent to my inbox and so of course you know we already know the story I told you before I'll never it, it seems like it'll never end but believe me it is gonna fucking end one day about whenever this abuse online abuse is occurring and so yes so I wanted to bring up my Gmail. This Gmail account is always getting hacked by phishing and spoofing emails, suspicious direct messages. So I'm gonna go to spam. Of course, fucking everybody knows about this fucking spam, fucking internet bullshit games that I have to put up with all day, every day, single, every single day. For, for the past four years. So I just received this at 12.27. Of course this is direct suspicious. So we're gonna bring up this fucking message that fucking Miko likes to sh send fucking short acronym bullshit that doesn't make sense. Of course, you know, this online fucking predator won't fuck off, so. We're gonna report phishing. We're gonna go to the message again. We're gonna show original. We're gonna copy the email header. And we're gonna put it in an email analyzer. And we're gonna show raw header, and these are the details of the email header. And so we gotta go look for the IP address where this email was sent from. So they say always look for the what where it says received on the very very bottom this appears to be two different IP addresses but they say that the one in the brackets is the one that had originally sent this fraudulent message so we're gonna copy that and we're gonna we're gonna create a role on my firewall to get this blocked. So we're gonna go to new role. Next, next, which local IP address is this? We'll apply to this IP address. That one, same thing. So that's blocked. Block the connection. So that's one possibility of fucking blocking them. I hope that is the fucking right answer right there. And then also too, this appears to be an IP address. So we're gonna do the same thing, create a firewall rule. fucking game being sent back to you block 
the connect. Okay, so we do have numerous options here to see which ones are the right correct IP address. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create rules in the firewall. This is just for beginners, learners to see how the fuck I could strategize against this fucking asshole already because this is fucking pathetic. Why I have to do this? Because of some fucking people want to act like fucking children around in this fucking world and don't want to fucking grow up and learn to fucking obey other fucking people's commands when is requested to be left the fuck alone. So that one's created a rule. Alright, so let's see what else. This one. How fucking incriminating. Fuck, dude. All the fucking hassle off because one little fucking bitch that doesn't want to learn to fuck off. Fucking male Karens out there, I swear, dude. Fuck. Finish. these fucking IP addresses that come along with this fucking stupid fraudulent message just to fucking act like a fucking asshole. Anyway, all this extra effort in fucking making these reports will fucking turn out all at the end because this is incriminating and it is illegal and you're breaking the law international law in fact overseas so it's gonna fucking add up one of these days so yep iPhone mail. Fucking asshole, are you fucking spying on me through my fucking phone? So you have to leave a comment. Reason why you chose these categories? So I chose spam and website, Bruce force attacks, fraud and phishing, web application attacks, DOS or DDOS attacks, spam by email, hacking. And the reason why I wrote is brute force attacks, DOS attacks, inappropriate sexual content sent to my emails illegally, sent by an ex-boyfriend overseas electronically harassing me to my Gmail accounts for over four years now, and he won't stop. So I'm going to send that. There you go. Submittedly reported, submitted on this IP address another website similar to the same thing the website is called abuse IPDP and so we're gonna let's see for the comment the same thing we're gonna just do it step by step there's that fraud orders DDOS attacks open proxy web spam email spam FTP Brute force, ping of death, phishing, spoofing, brute force, hacking, bad web bot, exploited host, web app attack. And so we're going to go copy the IP address again. And same comment, 
attribute forced attacks, DDoS attacks, inappropriate sexual content sent to my emails, illegally sent by an ex-boyfriend overseas, electronically harassing me to my Gmail accounts for over four, four years now. He won't stop. Report IP address. Your IP address has been successfully reported. So we found this IP address right here related to the email at a who is IP and it gives you the information about the IP address and it gives you the information that is related to it and so it looks like the organization that it's related to or the ISP is coming from Charter Communications and so we're trying to look for the host of the abused email so we located abuse at rr.com so we're gonna forward this message to this link right here this address abuse at rr.com We copied it and we are going to go back to the email and we're going to go to forward and we're going to paste that web address right there and we're going to go back to this one same thing my statement and so it this message is report being reported to the host who had sent this email by IP address so there you go that's the report reported abuse on this email to the host of this email and so that is another step making claims and reports against this abuse. Okay, so we're going to go to the message. We're going to go back to go find the email headers again. And we're going to find the message. Search header. So we're going to copy that, paste that there, analyze the header, show raw header, and we're going to still continue doing our IC3 report. look like a fucking does it ring a fucking bell again and again same website ic3.gov so we're going to just still fill this out as originally had done and then we're going to copy the email header that there we were a victim in the incident above and so here is the uh, original first complaint written statement that is pasted there so I'm going to fill out my information here on top and I'm going to stop this part of the video move on to the next clip you found out the IP address of this email we posted this right here and then of course we uh, will not leave this info piece of information out by the police report uh, reported on 10 29 2020 by officer Walter Nickerson so
so we are at the Gmail abuse complaint form and we're going to enter the information so that we can make this online a complaint with Gmail and uh, so we're going to go back to so we're going to post the header there again analyze the header show raw header yet paste your email header there the original subject line of the message where it came from tag the message ID paste that there did the message appear to be from someone impersonating Google I'm going to post yes and then we're going to go back here to my original written statement copy it again paste that there as additional information submit and the gmail abuse complaint has been submitted so thank you for submitting a report we take our users privacy and security very seriously so we appreciate your concern we will use information to provide a con to conduct an investigation we will contact you if you need more details however you will not receive a response or email acknowledgement of your submission